Jetbrix here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Overwatch Dorado Showdown, which includes four 19 pieces, three minifigures, and retails for $30 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those phenomenal minifigures. Alright, so here's Soldier 76, and then this is his gun. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it obviously they're trying to make these look more for kids, but yeah, designing this, if you look at it by itself, it's it looks accurate but when you look at it towards the gun I'm like if you look at it besides the gun like the actual gun in the game it just just uh, <laughs> it looks bad but the main figure itself is really good of course this is Jack is what his actual name is but obviously has no back facial printing but it's his front facial printing is just phenomenal I love design that and they even got the printing right on there even though they printed it on blackhead but and also they have this amazing new hairpiece, which I'm excited to see how that's used in other themes. And then also his torso, and his back torso, it's just phenomenally printed. There's also a Reaper, which comes in Watchpoint Gibraltar. But the design of this is pretty cool. I do like his face print, and his torso print. It does have some back torso printing, and again, shotguns are not that great then i mean i get it i mean they're literally called hellfire shotguns and yes lego does call them that in their description of their sets which is very nice of them but does this look like a shotgun to you no but his cape is actually really cool it's the older style however but i just love that design of that that's looks pretty menacing and yes it does look like reaper so have no complaints with this guy already chose mccree stop it but anyways, this is McCree, and Designus is not too impressive, but not too non-impressive, you get what I mean. He does need, he, I would have rather had a hat-hair combo, but, you know, it's okay, I guess. I mean, what more could they have done, I guess. But no, that's what you would think. But, you see, they made a minifigure for the, flexible, for the CMF line of LEGO Movie 2, but they made a perfect hat-hair combo, which... If you haven't seen what that looks like, just go check out my CMF reveal video. But he does have a really nice, useful face print. And also his torso, his back torso, are really well done. And then also his leg printing is just super nice. He also has this little cape kind of thing. He also has his pistols as well. And he also decodes his hairpiece. So I just don't know where it went. It's around here somewhere. Here's the design for the payload, and the design this is very well done. That front for the truck looks so good. I actually really like that, and it just has some nice curves to it, and I just love how this is built. They even have the illusion that, the, that it's on wheels, but you see what it has is it has like these pieces right here, but you see the wheels are hidden beneath it to where it looks like it's floating as you drive that as if it's in the universe. It also has this generator right here, so that's pretty cool. And then also in the front, you do have this opening cockpit, which you can put a mini figure right in the cockpit right there. I wouldn't say cockpit, it's more just like a driver's seat and looks pretty good in there, I would say. I did find his hairpiece. There you go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? But anyways, this is the main design of Dorado, and I actually really do like this design. Just there's just one problem. This is that back, and I'll show you that in a second. Basically, you also have a little sticker right here, which design of that is from the, um, the animated shorts, if I'm not mistaken. There's also another sticker right here, which I don't know what that's from. You gotta tell them in the comments. But just look how vacant and empty this is. It's, ugh, that just makes me kind of want to, you know. Um, but you can't put minifigures up there if you like. But it's nothing really too special. You do have these opening windows, which do open on both sides. And you do have an area where you can drive the payload through it. So, that's pretty cool. However, it does have this nice roof design as well and I do like the sides of it it's just it needs I would have rather had at least something in there you'd also have a sticker right there and then also the exterior of it is very well done as you can see it has all these windows on it 
and has these lights and it even has a little bit of lights right here which you can put minifigures on this because this is the Spider-Man uh, web piece from I think 2008 probably earlier from, if I'm not mistaken tell me in the comments I'm probably wrong he also has this little pinata right here and he also has this little fruit stand right there which is uh, that's pretty cool this is some bananas and some cherries Winston's probably hungry so he probably came here and but yeah that's really it for the Grotto I think that's what it's called tell me in the comments I never played Overwatch, so sorry. But um, yeah, so for the build success, take a look at Factory you No know, Final Verdict. Plus for this, this has got to be one of the best boxes I have. I just love that exterior. I love the design of this, how it has all that nice coloring onto it. And just design for the minifigures in here looks very well done. And then you can see this whole CGI rendering of it, and even has some like it's basically another front design of the box. But that's really it. For some reason there's two instruction booklets um this one does not have any ads unfortunately but this one does it does have ad have an ad at the back where it shows how you can connect the smaller trace vs widowmaker set to the big watch point gibraltar set so i'll keep that in mind if i ever get this boy so i would give the set about a b rating if it was forty dollars but the amount of stuff you get in here seems like forty dollar set however but this set is $30. Yeah, I don't know how able Lego was able to pull that off. Sure, the Dorado is pretty vacant. But the minifigure selection here is very well done. The design for the payload is amazing. And let me be honest, the exterior of Dorado is very well done. I just wish it had an interior, which is just such a minor complaint. Like, are you serious? But, like, I don't know what my deal is with that. But I do like the design for the windows, the stickers, and basically everything here. I, again, I just wish there was some sort of detailing for the back. But do I, can I really complain when the set is only $30? Uh, it's just, it's hard to get, I can't give it an A+. Plus. It's not perfect. But that $30 price give, makes me have to give the set A. Because you definitely should go and buy it because it has a good feeling to it, I guess. And it's just a phenomenal set. Just go pick it up. It's phenomenal. One of my favorites of this entire Overwatch wave. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to like this video. And also make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. And peace out. See you on the next video. Peace out. Bye.